Um, so this is what we've been working on and we've been talking about for a while, our, our XO3 tablet. Um, we're pretty excited about it. Uh, it's designed to be sort of the natural successor to the work we've done with our, uh, our laptops uh, in countries around the world. So we've got a, a tablet that travels around with you, waterproof, it's got a water and dust resistant cover. You can really take it in tough places, it's got that same look and feel and ruggedness that we have in our, in our laptops as well. Uh, we've designed it with a variety of different interfaces, uh, the same audio input and output that we have in the, in the laptop. The, uh, the input is also a, a stereo DC input for sensors like kids do with uh, thermometers or other kind of data collection. We've got a, a USB on the go port uh, for, for mini devices. You can also use that to power the laptop, although it's not the preferred power method. I'll talk about that in a minute. We've got a full-size USB port because where we go, SneakerNet is pretty important and everybody's got thumb drives that they, that they, that they move things around with. And the, the laptops, uh, the tablet's got an 8 inch 1024 by 768 uh, screen. Uh, it features many of the same uh, applications and activities that we've used uh, in the past. Uh, one of the things is a very simple built in uh, oscilloscope application. Uh, so, in case you didn't know that there's a lot of background noise in Vegas, uh, you can actually measure it and collect it and analyze it. Uh, but this is the same kind of activity that you'd use some of those input sensors for. To, uh, to collect data on. Uh, we think that uh, it's really a, a, a natural successor to the, the laptop in terms of functionality and cost and portability. But I want to talk a little bit about power too. The other connector we have, the microphone input, uh, is this dedicated charging port. Because you can put USB charging in, but you can't put this into a USB port. And one of the things that we've always paid a lot of attention to is power, power efficiency, in charging, low power usage when you run it, and flexibility in terms of how you can charge it. Every other tablet out there it comes with a charger. It might be a USB charger or whatever, but it's a 12 volts, you know, 12.0 volts, or it's a 5.0 volts. You put it in, and you can't do that with a hand crank or a solar panel, water wheel, any kind of uh, uh, funky power. So we now actually have a tablet that can take all kinds of funky power that you throw at it, and it can also, because it's a low power ARM device uh, using Marvell's technology, that we can actually now get sort of a 10 to 1 ratio where you crank this for six minutes and you can run this for an hour. And that point, at that point, this becomes practical. The hand cranks we've had around forever, but they're not practical with the, with the, the laptop because it uses too much power. Sure. Um, the, this is a solar cover, so it's sort of a solar panel version of this same flexible cover. It's the same cover for the, for the tablet. Uh, this is a 4 watt solar panel. And if this is a 2 watt tablet, it means that basically, you know, in an hour, this produces twice as much power as this needs. Right. Um, and take this solar panel with a little thin pack battery on the back, you can make this a standalone battery pack that sits out in the sun while you're using the tablet. The tablet, you know, all of our Nicholas likes to say that you know the, the warranty is void until you take it apart. Um, so like like our laptops, four screws, take the screws out, and take it apart. It's very easy to disassemble and reassemble. Uh, but these are also electrical contacts. So you can not only use those to assemble a laptop, but you can now take this battery, which you've just charged with a, uh, with a solar panel, put it in, put the cover on the back, and snap onto these contacts. And now you can actually run the tablet off of the battery that you just charged out in the sun. Uh, this sample is actually slightly the wrong size, which is oh, what just okay. quite fitting like that. It, it form fits just, it's just like this one. Right. So you take this and you just snap it right on mm -hmm. like that. You still have access to all the ports, but now you're running off your solar recharged battery. I really like the image of a kid being able to sort of go out in the middle of nowhere and say, I'm just going to take this, I'm going to cover it up, and off I go. This is everything I need. Sure. I got it all right here. We've given kids a lot of the same content, uh, a lot of that same portability, uh, so that they can take you know, take this out with them, and whether they're in a network or a standalone environment, they've got all the tools they need to go off and use the tablet effectively. This is one of our uh, Wikipedia examples. This is the Spanish one. Um, it's an article about the planets. 
sort of read about the, the solar system and go back to, uh, even by being offline, you've got a really nice uh, set of educational content and educational activities that you can look at as well. So it's a really nice set of tools and uh, really tries to give kids a lot of the a lot of things that we've done in the past, but in a really much more efficient, you know, much more portable factor. What about that circular interface? Is that something that's new, or is that new? Uh, it's been around for, it's, it's actually just, uh, it's an option, the, uh, the Sugar Desktop interface, has, uh, by default, it comes in a circle. Mm -hmm. We made it a spot, you can change, you can make it a triangle if you want. Sure. So it doesn't matter, this just happens to be a, happens to be a, a, a circle here.